Okay, we're on this road here. We're headed up today to the Sunset Mine, and we're gonna see if we can make it to the Nonpareil Mine as well, which is just farther in this valley. So, we just follow up this road for a little bit. The Sunset Mine is relatively easy to locate. It's pretty close off this road. Uh, the Nonpareil Mine might be a little bit more challenging, but we'll see. So we found some ore samples here. We are at the, the site of the old powerhouse. This is the foundation that made up this facility when it was operated a century ago. The Sunset Mine was, I believe, the biggest mine in this area. It produced about 12 million pounds of uh, copper, so it was very productive but they had a lot of issues with collapse in this particular mine, and so they had to shut it down. Most of it is collapsed, but we're gonna see if we can find the portal. So I found what I think is a portal to the Sunset Mine, but it's completely caved. I don't know if you can see that. Let me adjust the brightness here. I think this is probably a portal to one of the upper levels of the mine. It had many different levels, I think five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, here's a shot looking in. This thing is completely caved. I don't think there's any way in. It's a shame too, because there's a lot of workings to this mine. Let's go see if we can find another portal. We're on track to locate the next adit. We found a cable here. We're going up this this old mining road. It's in pretty bad shape. Yeah, the cable continues. You can see it right there coming up. So we're gonna follow that, see where it takes us. So this is what we're going into here. Just to give you an idea. Looks a little tight in the front, and then it floods after that. So we're gonna have an interesting day. Right, just look, look, look at this shit. Look at look at this large thing. I can't thing. see Jack here. You want here, you want to give me the camera? Oh. Light that up. Look, look at this large thing. I'm about to just go under. That is a freaking rock. I'm trying to like test. Kick it. All right. Here we go. This looks fucking terrible. Like, you want me to take a picture of it? Yeah. Well, we, uh, what we did is we took a photo of the back far as we could get, tried to make a plan, and uh, it didn't look safe to us. There was a rock that was unstable. You could see the sunlight coming through about 10 feet back there. Probably can't see it with this camera, but I'll show the photo. But, uh, so that's indicating that part of the ceiling collapsed, and there was a rock that was right in the middle of the path, right as the, um, as it dropped off into water, and so going head first wouldn't be practical, and uh, it just wasn't wasn't feasible looking. So we're gonna leave this one be for today, and we're gonna go see what else we can find related to the Sunset Mine. But yeah, I would highly recommend avoiding this 
particular portal, it's it's in really bad shape, and it's uh, not a not a good place to go into. Well, there's only. I need to get wow. like a wide angle shot of this. It's amazing. Well, there's only one way in. <laughs> Down. <laughs> yep. So we consulted our resources, and we think that this is the caved stope to the first level of the Sunset Mine. And so none of this was actually ever supposed to be open to the surface, but you can see supporting timbers there. And uh, so this is, uh, that's what that is. The portal that we were at a little while ago is directly that way. And so uh, it would make sense for this to be the stoke from level one. All right, let's take that over there. Let's not set in the wrong Wow. Yeah. See the timbering. Looks like there's calcium. A lot of copper here. A lot of copper. It goes down maybe like 40 feet and then it's all filled with debris. Okay. You take the flashlight. Oh yeah. Did you bring your backpack in? No. Yeah, I don't want this. So I can probably take it off. Yeah, can you hold this? Yeah. My hands are still cold. Oh. All right, uh, there's the rocks get a little weird to touch. All of these rocks are weird to touch. It's so loose. Isn't that crazy? Oh god. There's a tunnel down there. 
Looks like that's... There's a lot of dirt in it. It might be the... Yeah, it looks terminal. Okay. So wait, if we go down there... Look at that. Yeah, see? How does it look? It's it's just washed a washed up bush light and some pine needles. Sucker. Yeah, is this alright? That's a cool little area. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Easter egg. Should I touch it? I wouldn't. It doesn't look edible. Wait, you got the dynamite shaped like an Easter egg? Maybe, that's why I kinda don't want to touch it. <laughs> Apparently there are a few other stopes that are open to the surface. This mine really had some issues with collapsing, particularly in the upper levels. And um, there's one of them that is supposed to have a building that was kept inside of it. A three-story wooden structure inside of the, the cave that the stope opened up to create. We're not really sure where that is and we're starting to run low on time. So we're gonna call it a day at this, and um, we'll come back at some point, look for that structure. And uh, obviously we don't have time today for the non-parel mine, but that'll be another future video. So stay tuned. Oh my God. You wanna walk over that? It's up to you, man. Yeah, this looks a little sketchy, this bridge here. That is sketchy. <laughs> 